Marriage has come a long way since the biblical era. Women are no longer thought of as property. Men and women can now search widely and rapidly for romantic attention. Yet in spite of these developments, marriage rates are plummeting everywhere, even in the church. Why? In his new book, The Future of Christian Marriage, sociologist Mark Regneris explores how today's Christians find a mate within a faith that esteems marriage, but in a world that increasingly yawns at it. This book draws on in-depth interviews with nearly 200 young adults in seven countries. Its aim is to understand why marriage is fading, even within the church, and what might help. Some challenges are old. Too few men in church and the lack of stable employment. Some are new, such as the creeping popularity of keeping your options open. But the full story of how our pandemic of marital uncertainty came to be is not just a tale about sexual revolutions, gig economies, or substandard men. Instead, it's about what people expect from marriage. This has changed profoundly. Marriage has quickly become an elite, consumption-oriented arrangement that takes place later in the life course. Even Christians now think of marriage as a social achievement, rather than the union that prepares and enables you to achieve great things together. But all of our efforts to bend marriage to fit our new desires have not fundamentally altered the nature of the union. Marriage isn't changing, it's receding. In an era of increasing options, advanced technology, gender equality, same-sex unions, cheap sex, and secularization, fewer people, including fewer Christians, actually want what marriage is. Fewer, but hardly none. The future of Christian marriage details how plenty of Christians innovate, resist these forces, and wed. What they show us are good ideas and priorities for making marriages happen in our congregations and families. Be ready to be surprised, though. The future of Christian marriage depends on us.